Hello, I'm back at it again with yet another improvement on Ernest the Chicken. As usual, the time cut is 0.6 seconds or a tick. I'll first explain how the method was found and how it works. Then I'll give a summary of all required actions for that time cut. And finally, I'll show the full speedrun. For a long time, I've had the idea to temporarily stun myself to pick up an item from a tar next to me. This can save a tick while picking up the rubber tube. An easy way to stun yourself is to use a Diango item, but they can't be smuggled into a speedrun. Another way to stun yourself is to use a zombie hand emote, but that emote is not unlocked on quest speedrunning world. I knew of yet another way to stun yourself, a method which is possible to do during the speedrun. Trying to log out or hop worlds stuns you. Actually logging out during a speedrun is bad though, because that adds a 6 seconds penalty to the timer. Luckily, it's possible to attempt to log out without actually logging out if you've been in combat recently. You don't always get stunned this way though, as can be seen here. For my tests, the following seems to be the case. You need to click the logout button within about 10 seconds or 17 ticks after the opponent initialized their last attack. Otherwise, you will actually get logged out. You need to not have an active PJ timer when you click logout. If you are in a single combat area, this can be achieved if your opponent dies. The stun instantly starts after having clicked logout. The stun duration is always 10 ticks. I theorized a method to set up the stun, which involves an alt poisoning a rat in advance so it can die later. But there was still an issue. The stun duration is too long, so you can't move after picking up the rubber tube. Recently, someone named 929482 told me it is possible to get a shorter stun length. He also showed me a clip of an example, which did not match my theory. Based off his clip, my old tests and some new tests, my theory about the logout stun changed to the following. You still need to click the logout button within 17 ticks after the opponent initialized their last attack to prevent getting logged out. While you have an active PJ timer, you are immune from the logout stun. The stun ends 10 ticks after having clicked logout. I didn't mention it before, but the PJ timer is a timer that starts when an opponent initializes an attack, and the timer lasts for 16 ticks. If you for example don't kill the opponent, save spot it, and then click logout within 6 ticks, you won't get stunned because you're immune throughout the whole stun duration. That's how I ended up with my old theory. I always clicked logout early in my tests. But if you do the same thing and instead wait 7 ticks before clicking logout, you lose stun immunity on the 10th tick of the stun, resulting in you getting stunned for a single tick at that point. So that solves the problem of the stun duration. Now let's see if we can fit the stack into the speedrun. There's an aggressive skeleton near the rubber tube. Since we don't want to get in combat with it, we can make it target an alt. This can be done with the door alt, so no additional alts are required. We need to pick up the rubber tube 9 ticks after clicking logout. This means the logout click has to happen right after going through the doors. The PJ timer has to expire the tick after picking up the rubber tube. As reminder, the PJ timer lasts 16 ticks and starts when you get attacked. Tracing back our steps, this means we have to get attacked while standing here. That brings us to the next problem. How do we get attacked here? There are seemingly no NPCs anywhere nearby. The closest attackable NPC is this goblin, but he can't be lured close enough. So how do we solve this problem? Simple! Just use bird snares and an undead tree. If we get attacked one tile north of this tile, we also end up next to the rubber tube exactly 16 ticks later. And there just happens to be an aggressive undead tree here. Let's test the method to see if it works.
Indeed, the method seems to work. But going to that tile next to the unit tree normally makes us lose time, because it causes us to walk for two ticks. That problem can be solved with bird's nest. From an earlier known time cut in Ernest the Chicken speedruns, we know we can smuggle bird's nest into the speedrun at the basement doors. Setting up a bird's nest causes you to get pushed a tile. In the previous speedruns, we smuggled two bird's nests. One is used to set up tick manipulation, allowing us to lay the other one instantly. This single tile push stacks with the standard movement of two tiles per tick, allowing us to move three tiles in a single tick. Because we have level 1 hunter, we can only have one active hunter trap at a time. Hunter traps collapse a minute after being set up. Looking at the speedrun, this happens right before arriving at the fountain. So another bird snack can be set up when running from the fountain back to the manor allowing us to get next to the undead tree without losing any time. But I forgot about an important detail. Normally, bird's nests only push you westwards. Looking at the road though, we need to get pushed eastwards or northwards. There is an exception if westwards movement is blocked. In that case, you get pushed eastwards. Luckily, there exists a single spot on the road where westwards movement is blocked and eastward movement makes us get closer to the undead tree. Let's backtrack the path and mark the important tiles. The bird snare needs to get laid a tick before reaching this tile. And three ticks before that, we need to set up tick manipulation with another bird snare. All problems seem to be solved. Let's test the complete method. Oh. Apparently there's fungus here and you can't lay a bird snare on top of that. So let's solve that with some manual movement to a different tile and try again. Yes, it works! This time cut was so close to not working for multiple reasons. Solutions to problems often caused new problems to occur, which had to be solved as well. This was my favorite time cut in Ernest the Second speedruns, and it also doesn't require any additional alts. A summary? Smuggle two extra bird snares at the basement doors. After searching the fountain, move to this tile. Do tick manipulation by clicking on a bird snare and then continue moving to the manor. Lay the second bird snare here. This causes us to get pushed an extra tile closer to the manor. Move to this tile next to an undead tree. Click logout right after entering the manor and continue moving towards the rubber tube. This chain of accents allows us to pick up the rubber tube while standing next to it, resulting in a time cut of one tick. That was everything I had to say about this new time cut, and ends the commentated part of this video. Now follows the full speedrun. The right side of the screen accidentally didn't get recorded, but that shouldn't matter.
Thank you. 